We're looking at Tesla stock on the daily chart here using the Heiken Ashi candles. Well, what we can see is the RSI bottoming turning to head straight up as we had a lot of buying the past two days. We have the stochastic bottoming turning to head up. We also have the MACD bottoming turning to head up about to go green possibly. What this basically means is it's highly likely that we have bottomed at the high 800s and we're likely to at least continue higher or trade range bound between 900 and 1100 in the coming days and weeks. One thing to note is Tesla stock only breaks an all time high when the RSI on the daily chart gets above 70. So if you want to follow along, you want to follow up what the RSI is doing on a daily basis. And when you see the RSI get above 70 above this line, then it's highly likely that we are about to hit a new all time high. We could trade up higher, but don't expect a new all time high unless you see the RSI above 70. Let's go all the way back to the beginning of 2020, just before COVID hit. We hit a high here, sold off, and then we got bought up and we almost broke 70 in the RSI but we didn't. So we did not make a new all time high because this was previously the all time high sitting around 180. We traded higher and we, the RSI was trading really close to that 70, but we kept dipping below. We never broke and held above and we were still climbing, but we didn't get above that 180 mark. When's the first time we got to the 180? Right where my mouse is right here. 188, we hit a new all time high June 8th. June 8th, the RSI was at 75. We dipped below and we traded around this range. When's the next time we hit an all time high? Right here at about 200. The RSI was at 72 on the daily chart. Again, first time breaking above, and then we had crazy momentum, and we pushed up from 200 all the way up to about 330, and then the RSI started downtrending, and the stock also downtrended. The next time we broke all-time highs was Ray Ramosis, and we were at 340 with the RSI at 73 on the daily chart. We continued higher, and then the RSI dipped below, and the high was at 499, essentially. Next time we broke was right here, November 23rd. RSI was at 73, stock hit 500. I'll show you one more example. We topped out 900 at the end of January and then we never got back to 900. You follow the RSI, it kept getting close to it but didn't break. Here's another example, June 24th, the RSI was at 69 and then went back down. We didn't break any all time highs. We kept hitting and going down, hitting and going down, using that 70 RSI as resistance. We're trading around it from the beginning of September all the way till mid-October. Mid-October is when we finally break the RSI. About October 15th, we break, we get to an RSI of 77. The pattern is every single time the RSI gets above 70 and holds, we break all-time highs. What's likely is us to see resistance at around 1100 or at this resistance right here. We hit that top and we bounce lower as the RSI trends around on the daily chart and gets closer towards 70. Once we get above 70, we could be trading around that 1100 area, uh, break above 70 on the RSI, and then have that explosive movement to all-time highs, trading around 1250 or 1300 by the end of January around earnings. Now that we have that out of the way, I'm gonna show you the trade that I personally made before the market closed yesterday when Tesla was trading around 1050. This is the trade right here. It's a January, 2024, 2000 strike call that I purchased and a 2200 strike call that I sold. I did 25 contracts, which costed me about $56,000. And on the day it went up about $1,000 or so. So now it's worth 57,000 US dollars. And I'm gonna show you how this trade would play out. The max return is 419,000, which is a 500% rate of return. And we achieve this if Tesla stock is trading above 2200 per share, by January, 2024. So the assumption is if you believe that Tesla stock will trade at 2 trillion or a little higher than 2 trillion by the beginning of 2024, essentially in two years, then this is a great trade. If however, Tesla stock trades below 2000 per share by January, 2024, then I lose all the money on the trade, which was $56,000. The break even is at 2032. So if Tesla's trade at 2032 per share by January, 2024, then I keep all my money. I don't lose anything, but I don't gain anything. Let's say it's January, 2023. It's one year in the future. And we want to see how this position is doing as Tesla stock trades. We can decide if we want to close it out early, but in my head, the way I put this trade on is I personally believe that Tesla stock will have a valuation of 2 trillion by January, 2024. So because of that, I put this trade on. Now, this is not a good trade to put on if you think Tesla stock will have a valuation of 3 trillion or higher, because you don't gain any more if Tesla stock keeps going above 2200 per share. So if you take a look at the dotted line, the dotted line is now one year in the future, January, 2023. If Tesla stock is trading at $1,500 per share, then our gain is about 22,000 US. 
on our 50,000 that we put up. So it's about 30% return if we're one year in the future and Tesla's trading at 1,500 per share. But also, if one year in the future, if, if, Tes if Tesla's trading at 2,000 per share, then we get then we have a profit of 87,000, which is over a 100% return on our money. The way you really make the most is if you wait all the way to expiration, that's how you milk the most out of this trade. Reason being is because Remember, you're buying a 2,000 strike call, but you're also selling a 2,200 strike call. So you want all of the value in the 2,200 strike call to go to zero, which means you want all the theta to run out, which means you want to wait till expiration. So if we wait till expiration and the stock is at 2,200 or higher, then at least all the theta runs out of the 2,200 strike, but we have all of the intrinsic value in the 2,000 strike, and then that's where all the gains come from, and that's where we achieve the max return, which is $420,000, on our $56,000 we put up. What this does for me is I personally be, believe that Tesla will be two trillion by January, 2024. And because of that, the gain I will get allows me to have 200 free shares of Tesla. So by putting on this trade today, I am getting 200 free shares of Tesla if Tesla actually does reach a $2 trillion valuation by January, 2024. The risk is the macro environment. We know that Tesla will execute and be, and be deserving of that valuation based on the profit margins and the growth they're going to achieve. But we don't know how the market will value Tesla based on the current macro environment. And that's the real big risk of this entire trade. And that's why it's not a huge portion of my account. It's about 5% of my account. So I put 5% of my account size into this trade and I'm willing to risk all 5% for a potential to get 200 free shares of Tesla stock in the future. Now if we take a look at the two trend lines that Tesla stock has been respecting ever since COVID hit. You can see the resistance re respected January 2021 was 900 and it's upward sloping. We hit it again at about 1240 in November of 2021 and on terms of support we hit the support back here in May of about 550 and then we touched it again as we increase. By the beginning of January, the lowest support here would be about $810 per share, meaning that it's not likely for us to drop below $810 per share by the beginning of January. So let's see what the resistance and the support would be like by January, 2024. So what we do is just scroll out and we could extend these trend lines until we get to January, 2024. What we can see on the weekly chart is the low January 2024, if we kept respecting this trend line, would be 1650. And the high, if we kept respecting this trend line, would be 2200. However, this isn't perfect because no stock respects a trend line forever. There's a point in time where it gets annihilated. It's the same thing with Tesla stock where you could have put it in this channel from 2017 until the end of 2019. It respected this channel. It kept hitting the same resistance, bouncing down, hitting the same support, hitting the same resistance back and forth. So it respected this exact channel for two years. And just how now with Tesla stock, it could respect it from beginning of 2020 to the beginning of 2022. So we could be respecting this channel all the way until then. And we could break out of this resistance or we could break below the support and not respect this channel anymore. They don't last forever, but they last until they don't last anymore. It's going to keep respecting it and it's safe to assume it will keep respecting it until we see it break it. That's why the beginning of 2022, the lowest Tesla stock is likely to hit is 810 and the highest it's likely to hit is 1350. Just how at the beginning of 2024, the, like, the lowest Tesla stock is likely to hit is 1650 and the highest it's likely to hit is 2200. And that's also partially why I chose the 2000 strike call and sold the 2200 strike call because the max gain I will achieve is if Tesla stock is at 2200 or higher by the end of January, 2024, because I think it's highly likely based on all the probabilities that Tesla does achieve a $2 trillion market cap, but not much higher. But I think it's a good risk reward trade because I'm risking just over $50,000 to potentially earn an extra $420,000, if I am correct. And you might be thinking, how does this compare if we just decided to buy the call options without selling the other 2200 strike call? Interactive Brokers isn't showing more than a 100% gain, so I came to the options profit calculator to show a stock range of 1,000 per share to 3,000 per share, just to track how the calls would be either in the profit or the loss, if Tesla's trading between a one trillion valuation and a three trillion valuation between now and January, 2024. So we're getting three contracts, at a price of 203 each. So our risking, we're risking 60,000 US for the trade, a little more than my trade that I put on. And we can see what the reward will be. So if Tesla is trading at 2,600 per share by January, then our profit is going to be 202% instead of the 530% that I'm personally getting. 
and you're saying, why do I get such a higher return with the stock price being lower? Because I'm selling the premium of the 2200 strike call. That's why the bull call spreads are so good if you think the stock is gonna go up significantly, but not go to the absolute moon, meaning tripling or quadrupling over the next coming years. Because if we think that, then we would get a much better return. And what you'll see is even a Tesla stock is trading at 2,900 by January, 2024, our return would be 367% or $223,000. Whereas my trade by buying the 2000 strike call and selling the 2200 strike call, I'm getting a 530% return or $420,000 by risking the same amount. And I just need Tesla stock to trade at 2200 or higher. Whereas here, I'm gonna need the stock to trade at well over 3,000 to make comparable gains. But this is all by expiration because if the stock trades higher earlier in this scenario, then we profit massively on the upside. So if Tesla stock actually reaches 3,000 per share by January, then we get that 500% return and the trade is comparable to my trade. The benefit of buying the leaps and not capping it off by selling the call is that if the stock goes up faster and sooner, than you planned on or anticipated, then you can close out the position earlier and make much more money. In my case, if Tesla stock goes to 2000 earlier, I only make 20, 30, 40, 50% of my money, upwards of 100% of my money. Whereas here, if it goes up to the 2000 earlier, you can, make cap, you can get out early for a 200% return, whereas I can only get out early for a 100% return with the same stock move. So if you think the stock is gonna move really fast early, then you buy these leaps without selling the calls to cap the upside. If you think the stock is gonna move up significantly, but you don't know if it's gonna happen in the next 12 months or the next 24 months, then you wanna do the bull call spread where you buy a strike and sell a further strike. Where these 2000 strike calls really shine is if Tesla stock is trading at 4 trillion by the beginning of January. If it's trading there, then you get a 885% return on your money. The goal of this video is to show you when and how you would potentially use a bull call spread and when it's better to just buy leaps without capping the gain and selling a higher strike call. Let me know in the comments below what stocks or what strategies you'd like me to talk more about. Subscribe for more videos just like this. I wanna help you achieve financial freedom in the stock market with options trading, day trading, and swing trading. So if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up if you appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.